We now return to Let's Play Open TTD. I'm going to screw that up one of these times. So, uh, this should be the final tutorial video. We're gonna, just going to wrap up some things here, talk about uh, various things. First thing I'm going to do, though, I'm going to repay my loan. I just sat here for a little while, a couple minutes, and waited until I earned some money, but we can see the aircraft is doing pretty well. Doing really well on the road. I don't think I've ever done this much on uh, a road system, so I don't know what that's all coming from. Uh, the train, though, is of course doing pretty well because trains always do really well. So now we need to talk about boats. And uh, unfortunately, no oil rigs have shown up in the water. There's a little island out here. Uh, I'm not really sure what you need to trigger that. I'm not sure if it's just something over time, or if certain conditions on the map need to be there. But basically, with an oil derrick or an oil rig, uh, it, it's kind of like the inland industries as well. You take a boat from that to, uh, well, to a refinery. These refineries that are close to the uh, shore are the, the ones you want to go to, and you build a dock. Um, but we're going to have to settle for passengers, and I'm not sure how well that's going to work. But, uh, so we're going to come over here to the waterway, and I'll talk about all these buttons here in a minute because we just need to finish up all this stuff, but, so the waterway construction, you can uh, build canals and locks and that sort of thing for inland waterways, like if we wanted to connect this inland lake, to the ocean we could build a canal there but I'm gonna well maybe I'll maybe I'll cover it I was just gonna pass over it and we'll deal with it as we come to it but maybe I'll I'll get on that so uh, you need this dock first off which is right here and uh, we'll see how close we can get to a town okay this is accepting passengers and mail from right here this is probably a good place to put it so we'll put it right here and there's the dock in Suddingbury. And then we'll come up here, up the coast a bit, to Slunt Town, and we'll build another one. Build that uh, right there, sure. We're actually getting goods with this one. That's interesting. Um, let's actually put this right here, because it's connected to a road. I mean, that doesn't really matter, I don't think. I think it can just sort of be floating like this one is. Uh, I guess we'll find out in a minute here. So let me put that down. There we go. And then what we need to do is basically build another depot so that we can actually get the thing. And I'm going to put this, uh, I'm going to put it somewhere in the middle here. Well, no, let's put it close. Let's put it right here. Okay. So then we just go through the same process and we can see we've got an oil tanker, we've got a passenger ferry, and we've got a cargo ship. We're just gonna go for the ferry because that's all we can really do right now. I'll have it go from this dock to this dock. And uh, away we go. Now, there are other things to this because whereas, uh, you know, when you've got a road or a rail, the pathfinding in the game is, uh, is pretty accurate because it'll just follow that. And with the plane, you know, that's kind of freeform, and with the ship, it's pr pretty freeform, and that's moving very, very slowly. Oh, wow, we made a hundred thousand. Wow, this is going to be great. Uh, anyway, so to help with that, I mean, with the, with the plane, it pretty much will just go from point A to point B. It can draw a line in the sky, and there you go. Sometimes, though, with water ways, uh, it'll get a little bit screwed up and it won't have the best path so what you can do to fix that is you can build these little buoys and so let's go ahead and put a buoy here and we'll put one you kinda wanna keep them a little far away from each other but not too far so let's go there and there and uh... No, that's probably good enough so now what we can do is uh... where's my boat we can tell it to go to this buoy. Actually, let's delete that. We want to make sure it goes in front of the other one. There we go. 
and then we'll go to this buoy and to this buoy so now it's got this nice little order here where it will follow the buoys to its destination so let's wait and see we got a new plane okay should hit that one uh, pretty close it might not actually go directly and there it is at the docks uh, awkwardly situating itself there and I couldn't tell if it actually it's got a hundred passengers is this not actually working that is entirely possible got eleven passengers there 117 here. Well, let's see what happens when it comes all the way back. Okay, it's uploading some passengers. <laughs> uploading. Yeah. So, we'll come all the way back down here. And the dock is now full. That could have just been the case. It could have just been an empty boat. We'll see as soon as it get it. Oh, damn. Well, we just made some money. I just heard the ding. So, there we go. We made some money. So, it's doing its thing. Okay. So, that is everything uh, you can do. Everything you can transport. So, when you come over here to your little vehicles, you can see uh, what your trains, what your ve road vehicles, what your ships, and what your planes are doing. And you can see if they've made a profit. If something is going wrong, you can click on one, it'll bring up the little thing here. Another thing we can talk about, oh, Suddenbury now accepts docks, er, <laughs> Suddenbury, suiting, Sudding, Suddingbury, whatever, they now accept goods, so I could build a cargo ship to go back and forth between there. Uh, what the hell was I saying? Right, this little window right here, uh, let's talk about this. So, this little arrow here will center your camera on where it is, and maybe, let, let's... Okay, so this will center you where you are. This button will send it back to the depot. So, like, say it's getting a little old. Let's check the information here. It's it's half its life right now. It's six years out of 15. Well, <laughs> I can't count. It's almost half its life. Anyway, so let's say it was at the end of its life, 15 years, and it's breaking down constantly, and it's just, you know, it's not a very good truck and we want to get rid of it. So we can send it to the depot and that's where we can fix it or maybe we want to refit it, maybe we don't want a livestock truck, maybe we want to change it to grain and so that's where we can change that. Uh, this little button underneath it will turn it around so if you've sent it out and you're like, oh crap, I forgot something, you can send it back around and it'll go back to the uh, location it just left and of course the order button there and you can click this to just stop it in its tracks uh, what else did I want to talk about right so when it gets into the depot if you want to delete it then you just grab it because it'll show up here like it did earlier and you just grab it over to uh, this little X mark over here and you can just drag it there and it'll sell it uh, this one sells all of them and this will replace the road vehicles in the depot. Now I don't really know how I've had that work before because I don't think uh, don't think I've ever really used that you know to to upgrade the old ones and whatnot because by that time uh, you might get another one at least in the terms of the like a bus you know you'll get an upgraded bus and so you just uh, replace it with the new buses. So what else do we need to talk about here? Uh, you can find industries with the industry directory. You can fund a new industry here if there aren't enough of what you would like to get into. Uh, over time, if you watch, new industries will pop up around growing areas. I actually was playing one game where, uh, just out of the blue, they started building a, a power power station right outside of town, like right next to the developing town. And uh, that was interesting because I was already I was already shipping the coal to a power station and another power plant just opened up right next to it. So I was like, oh, great. But 
so they will grow and uh, sometimes they will die because I did actually start one game where uh, we went to the most populous town and it ended up being like the fifth after a while just because it was dying and uh, I wasn't doing much to help it grow. But uh, you can see that all these towns you aren't doing anything in do not grow and so you know just simply putting a little bus system in a town uh, would be a good thing. Putting it like within right here for example would actually be a great idea to just put one both in the town on both and then just connect a road and have it going between and that would probably help out a lot here and they might grow together maybe even grow together with waiting stone um, what other industries do we need to talk about so I think the only one we haven't talked about is the lumber so this is a lumber mill sawmill and it takes resources from these forests and you just put a station right next to the forest you can't actually build any special building there unless I mean this game has a lot of different mods for it and uh, I guess we can have a look here is it uh, what is that under is it under the game options no I think we have to go back to the main menu but uh, you see right here this new GRF settings and that'll bring it up and uh, this is actually showing what uh, the next few videos will be about but basically you can get mods for it and they will either you know change the look of the game or they will add different industries to it there's a bank in here now uh, and right now we're on the temperate zone and that has a certain set of industries and that sort of thing and there are other climates but uh, I'll talk about that probably in the next video because we'll go back to the main menu and talk about those things but right now I just want to go over the cleanup these, uh, these transmitters here are scattered throughout Uh, as well as lighthouses. We saw some over on this coast. And these are just uh, there to be in the way, I think. I don't think they actually serve a purpose. Um, wow. I'm sure I'm missing a lot of things. I'd actually like to... Okay, so here's some oil wells, and those need to be transported to the refineries. And uh, then the refineries create goods, which need to be transported to the towns. Uh in different climates the ship is lost great the ship doesn't know where it's going and it broke down great well once it's going again it'll it'll unlose itself um, so like I was saying that this is the temperate climate and there are well there's the desert and there's the Arctic and those industries are different I wasn't gonna talk about those next video but you know what whatever and there's another one uh, called Toyland, which is just sort of for fun, but uh, I'm not going to be using that. I'm actually going to be using a mod for the full game. I just kind of want to sit here for now and uh, try and... Okay, so there we go. So we now see the headquarters has gone up, and if we look at the performance rating here, we can see that I got points for paying off my loan debt. Now cargo, we're 50% at number of types of cargo delivered in the last quarter. So if we worked on getting some new different types of cargo, uh, which would be what, like wood, oil, iron, steel. So if I set that up, why don't we set that up right now? Let's find a good little loop. Well, I could take the, but it's over all this farm really expensive. Um, here's an iron to a steel mill to... there's no nearby factory. And here's a couple. Okay, well let's set up one here. So I'll just go ahead and set up a 
quick little track. Uh, I guess I can show off refitting. Although it'll be kind of convoluted. Shoot, I didn't want to do that. Well, okay, let's show off refitting. And you know what? I didn't even bother to think. Didn't even bother to see. Okay, it does. I got it close enough. Good. I was just dropping things down. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this on the ground before we start messing around with the... direction. I'm gonna have to go... People get really elaborate in their... Whoa! Don't zoom out when I'm doing that. Damn it. Of course you will go that way. You can also hold control and undo. You don't need to go to that little bulldozer. Um, yeah, people get really into this, and I'm pretty sure that throughout this game uh, I'm going to be criticized for a lot. But uh, that's okay. Because I'm going to do it my way. Oh, damn these hills! This is probably the least efficient way I could do this. Uh, let's set up the sound again. So we don't have to sit here and watch me do this in silence. We'll blow all the company money. Ah. That's really bad. Ah, uh, crap. There. God, it's a mess. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to set up depot here. And... See, it's going to take... I'll drop those off. It's going to have to refit again. So we're going to need... Oops, damn it. Got to make sure you got it facing the right way. Let's blow that up. Okay. So... Oh, piss. That's not going to work either. I'll, I'd pick up the iron before I had the depot. And the, you know what? Screw that. <laughs> Screw that whole damn idea. I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do instead, I mean, I didn't even need this, this whole rail right here. It's just going to be a waste. Uh, can I get some re reimbursements on that? Yes, yes, I can. I'm just going to set up a two train system. Call it good. Now I might actually want to make a second platform here though. That way I can just avoid having to wait. And in fact, I probably don't even need this. There! Highly inefficient whatever. So, uh, man, I could just do... Because I could have done this with a road... Oh, jeez. You know, forget this whole idea. I've wasted enough time. We'll just leave that there. As a, uh... No, because then i got to pay property on it. Screw it. We're almost done. We're almost done. What was I doing anyway? Oh, I was doing that so that I could actually try and upgrade my... my headquarters again before uh, clocking out here. But I think, uh, I think we're done. Like I said, I wanted to do a more in-depth tutorial on the signals, but frankly, I don't think I know them well enough to be able to, uh, to be helpful. Basically, like I was saying, when it comes to the signals, just stick to these two for most things. I mean, if you start getting into the really complex rail systems, you probably understand it better and uh, well enough that you don't need my explanation. So, uh, 
yeah, I think that's it. I think we'll call it good for now. And uh, we'll start doing an actual game, because right now we're not against computers, and that's just because of the custom settings I've got. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get some competitors here, actually make a goal. Because right now, when you're on your own, I think the only goal is really just to knock out all of these, uh, these things right here. What else can we talk about? Okay, so you've got the income graph, you've got uh, delivered cargo, performance history, all this stuff. What else have I left out? Oh, the company league table, so like if we had competitors, they would all be listed here and we could see who was doing what, and that ship is lost again. Uh, you can increase, or uh, pff, zoom in, zoom out, but you know, use the mouse wheel, and uh, it does it just fine. What is this? All right, this lists all your stations and it's the various crap that you've got. Uh, and this is the big world map. And you can open up extra viewports to keep track of this, that, and the other signs. Uh, th so like if you set down those custom signs, you can hop around between all this. Uh, you know, just play with it. Just get this and look at all the various little gizmos and doodads. Have any of these... Well, seven, 7 out of 12 years, they're probably slowing down. But uh, anyway, so that's it for now, and I will see you guys next time.